tunnel books, accordion books, and scrolls. For the full lesson, click on the link in the description. Hi, I'm Miss Bauer from Selwood Middle School, and today we're going to make a tunnel book. You are going to need scissors, you're going to need glue, you're going to need six pieces of paper cut to the same size. This is a paper bag, or you could take three sheets of regular paper and fold them in half and use those, but they all need to be the same size. And you might want to gather up some things like postcards or pictures or greeting cards um, that will be the background for a Two of those pieces of paper are going to end up being the sides of our project. And we're gonna just set them aside. Side. And one of those pieces of paper is going to be the very back of that project. And on that piece, we're not going to cut anything. And you are going to either just draw and color and completely cover this part with the images that you want, or this is a great place to go ahead and glue on a greeting card or a picture or a postcard of some memory you have or a place you'd like to travel to or a place you'd like to go in the future. And I really can't wait to get back to the beach. That's my big dream right now is to go visit the ocean. So I'm going to make a beach or ocean themed tunnel book today and I'll be using this as my central image. And I'm gonna take my picture and I'm gonna glue it to the middle of my background. We're going to make the frames for our tunnel book. And you can kind of think of these as a picture frame, but a three-dimensional picture frame because we'll be putting accordions on the side. So we're going to think there will be a background, some mid-ground, and a foreground layer. And we want all our picture frames to be about the same size opening. And we want to think about the size that we need so that it can go um, around our picture or that we can see the drawing that we made in the back. So we're going to need three blank pieces of paper to make those picture frames. One, two, three pieces of paper that are the same size. And I like to find something rectangular or oval to trace around, but you can make the opening any shape you really want. And after I trace my general shape, I'm going to, because I have thinner paper, go ahead and cut the middle out all at the same time. I have three picture frames that are all the same size. And to speed things up, I have already decorated a set of picture frames because this is where you're going to put your next set of images that go with your um, background. And my foreground is going to have some sand my midground is going to be more waves, and then my second midground is going to be darker colors because of atmospheric perspective and to match my picture back there. And they will be propped up for images from magazines or from postcards to cut out and collage on, or to take our scrap paper and make ourselves extra little pieces that can stick up. So I'm going to cut out a couple seashells and then I've made myself some starfish and some waves and we're going to add those to my frames. Okay, so here are the little seashells I cut out from that greeting card and I'm going to glue them down and I can put them completely on the frame or I can actually put them overlapping the frame a little bit. And now I have seashells in my foreground. And then in my midground, I made some waves, so I'm going to glue the waves in, and then I'll show it to you. And then I made some little starfish and some extra seaweed that kind of match up with my picture that I'm going to add in and show you, and then we will talk about putting it all together on my little extra objects and I had to think about my composition where the pieces are going to be when the frame is on and I had to make sure that I'm not going to completely block everything I made with overlap and I have my three frames done and my background done so now it's time to make the accordion sides and at the start I had to set two pieces of paper aside and they're the same size as the front and we're going to accordion fold these and however many frames you have, you need twice as many columns in your accordion. And so I 
going to, I have four pieces and I'm going to fold one, two, I'm going to fold it one more time. And then I'm going to unfold and these will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. And before I do anything else today, I need to force this into an actual accordion fold. So backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. And I need to do that to both sides before I can put my book together. Okay, I've made sure to accordion fold both of my sides before I move on. And I have areas that sit down low. I'm going to call those my valleys. And I have areas that go up. I'm going to call those my mountains. We're going to put a G where we'll end up gluing things and an X where we will not glue and we will fold. So I'm going to, on the inner sides, put G, G. And then my next column, I'm not going to use any glue. And this is really important. So I'm going to put an X and an X. And then I'm going to have glue, glue. So now it is time to build our accordion book. I'm going to take my background and on the glue, I'm going to put glue. And I'm going to put glue just on that column. And this is going to be the back. So I'm going to lay this on the flap there. On the flap there. I'm going to push it. Okay, this is the X. I don't want you to glue this down. Don't glue it down or else it won't accordion. So the X is just going to get folded so you can't see it. Fold it down on both sides. Okay, now we're ready to put some glue on and some glue on and I'm going to find my next furthest back frame and I'm going to put that right on top of my glue. Make sure to put the glue on the cording and not on the frame or you might stick things together you don't want to. We have X, I don't want glue. X, I don't want glue so I'm going to fold it down now I see my G's again. Go fold down one more time. Glue, glue. And this is going to be my very front frame. So this is our foreground. And you're going to see I have a little bit of extra, and I'm just going to snip this off. I don't need it. It's not part of my book. This is a craftsmanship step to get rid of that last little bit. I'm going to make sure everything's glued down. You can start to see how things are dimensional, and I'm going to pull my accordion so it pops open. Everything's in there, and you can see from the top. It's why it's called a tunnel, and you can see from here. I Accordion books. Hi, I'm Mrs. Renauer, the art teacher at Mount Tabor Middle School, and I'm going to teach you how to make accordion books and scrolls. So let's do this. You'll only need paper or cardboard, and if you don't have scissors, you can fold the paper down. You can use a grocery bag and just cut a long thin strip or the inside of a cereal box. Just like the accordion folds that we used for the tunnel books and the gomographs, you're going to find the center and fold it. And then you're going to find the center of that and go ahead and give that a good crease. And then one more time and fold that. I got some help from my family on this one. And the prompt that we used is, during this pandemic time, where is a place that you are dreaming that you could go somewhere in the world after the pandemic? I was like... She folded up some Japanese paper cranes to include on hers.
finish it off with that accordion fold. You can choose many different ways to display this in a star shape like this or just straight across. See those accordion folds? It's nice to display on a table where it can be viewed from all sides and not just from the front. Or you can just display it as a book that people can go through. Scrolls. You can roll the scroll as tightly or loosely as you'd like. Scrolls may be unraveled to read the images and words from left to right or as in many languages from right to left or roll the scroll from both sides and then unroll to reveal the image that begins in the middle. You can use two pencils to open the scroll. You may also insert a toilet paper tube. I think I have a reference to toilet paper or tubes in each one of my videos.